The photograph shows author Helen Keller teaching actor Charlie Chaplin the manual alphabet. So when I read it, I paused a long time when I saw the semicolon here because it's there. But it felt strange, the photograph. And then to put a semicolon, a semicolon would separate two independent clauses. The photograph, for sure, is not an independent clause. It can't stand on its own as a sentence. And shows author Helen Keller teaching actor Charlie Chaplin the manual alphabet. That also is not an independent clause. So I definitely want to change this thing. And one thing to think about, and it, this is just a good principle in general in life, is, well, do you need this thing? So, or do you need any punctuation there? And if you just read it without punctuation, how does it, how does it read? The photograph shows author Helen Keller teaching actor Charlie Chaplin the mal manual alphabet. Sounds great. No reason to, to put any kind of pause or anything over there. The photograph shows. So I like just no, I like no punctuation there at all. Now what are these other choices? The photograph, colon. Well, I would use a colon if I'm about to list some a bunch of things. You know, I I there's three reasons why I liked this movie. Colon. It was entertaining. There was a lot of action. There was a lot and there was a lot of romance. Or if you were providing some type of a definition, but that's not what's going on over here. And you would typically have a, a an independent clause before your colon. And the photograph is not an independent clause. It's not a full. It's not it can't stand on its own as a sentence. So rule that out. And then a a dash right over here, that would be good for a parenthetical. So the photograph, and then if you were somehow you know, making a little bit uh, like, hey, the photograph, which I lost yesterday, shows author, Keller, author Helen Keller teaching actor Charlie Chaplin the manual alphabet, then you might want to put a dash before and after that parenthetical clause, uh, that, little, that little aside that you make to the reader. So I'm going to rule that one out as well. And you know, when in, always go for whatever is, is most, most simple as long as it actually makes sense.